Assalamu alaikum ninjas, ahlan wa sahlan, welcome back, peace be upon you, it's your tech ninja Muhammad with another camera, screen, size, design, speaker comparison, so we have uh, the two best $100 smartphones on right now from China next to the Redmi 7, Yumi DG A5 Pro on the left side versus the Redmi 7A on the right side, yes, Yumi DG versus Redmi slash Xiaomi brand. We're gonna show you at the beginning the design build. You can already see the huge difference, and also the price tag is $100 versus $90. So the Redmi 7A it is $10 cheaper in just. You can have the buying links in the description. So please make sure to support my channel by shopping online with my links. Uh, firstly, the design here itself. So you can see by itself that the uh, again. Uh, Yumi DG A5 Pro, it is thinner in just absolutely insane, but it is thinner even if it has a different build, different material used. Uh, again, uh, we have glass on the back, glass on the front, and aluminium frames. With the Redmi 7A, which is $10 cheaper only, we have polycarbonate plastic material all around. Nothing here is made from metal in just or glass. Everything is from plastic here with this one. So again, huge win for the Umidigi A5 Pro regarding the premium look and premium feeling in your hands. Uh, the weight, Umidigi A5 Pro does weight way more, way more, 203 grams versus 165 grams. So it is lighter. Redmi 7A, it is much, much lighter. Ninja. So you have few different colors also all together. Again, uh, the design here, the ports, on the top, what do we have on the top? 3.5 mm headphone jack and noise cancellation microphone with the Redmi 7A. On the left side, uh, three dual SIM acceptable slot plus SD card. Both of these devices have three slots, which is really great news. Micro USB port, both of them. Main microphone and main speaker on the bottom, while 3.5 mm headphone jack for the Umidi G A5 Pro. And volume rock and power button on the uh, left side, on the left side, yeah. On the back, we have triple cameras with the Umidigi A5 Pro, ultra wide angle lens, which is again, it's a huge pro for only $10 more you pay. That's just amazing. Plus, fingerprint sensor is also included with the Umidigi A5 Pro. Redmi 7A doesn't have, and it doesn't have a book camera on the back, and it doesn't have ultra wide lens, just one single camera on the back. You can see by itself. Umidi A5 Pro will win regarding the features, but regarding the camera video quality, Redmi 7A uh, will be slightly better, and I will show you that uh, in the camera comparison by the end of this video. Please make sure to check it out, check it out. So check it out here. Again, the absolute winner here, this, uh, the design and build, the Umidi A5 Pro, but also the display itself. So now we're gonna move to the display. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just probably open a few pictures for you and you can judge by yourself that uh, Umidi G A5 Pro does have a better display in just uh, this is LTPS versus IPS new technology instant technology better viewing angles more vivid more color colorful again it's a uh, you can't even see the difference between the the the, the vessels while with the uh, while with the Redmi 7 you can see the differences in just you can see here the vessels the, bar, the dark here with the LTPS display are more darkish. They're close to the AMOLED display if you ask me. Well, with the IPS, it's a huge difference. You can see by itself that the black is a bit whitish, grayish, so you can see the difference where are the vessels. Well, with the Yumi DG A5 Pro, you don't see where the vessels are, ninjas. You don't see them. So that's a big difference there between the LTPS and IPS. Again, the brightness also win-win for the Yumi DG A5 Pro. Now we're gonna just find some YouTube. Uh, video exactly the same YouTube video and play it all together in the same time. Shall we do it? Here we're gonna just uh, the same uh, screen brightness at the maximum again. Yumi DG A5 Pro just slightly, maybe slightly brighter in my opinion. They are very close in the brightness. So we have 6.3 inches versus 5.45 inches. It's a big, big difference in the screen size comparison and also in the uh, screen to body ratio. See by itself that the Redmi 7A has a thick bezels on the top, thick bezels on the top. On the bottom, sorry for that, top and bottom, yeah? While the uh, Yumi DG A5 Pro, just the vessels on the bottom are a bit thick here. Uh, so we have the LTPS display versus the TFT with the Redmi 7A, full HD install technology. I can just say that, that the Yumi DG A5 Pro has an install technology. Full HD plus resolution versus HD plus resolution, 400 PPI versus 295 PPI pixels per inches. Uh, 2.5D curve design on both of them. And of course we have uh, uh, we have a notch with the Umidi A5 Pro, uh, with the Redmi 7A, uh, 7A, we don't have any notch. See by itself, yeah? Again, let's go with the viewing angles now. Okay, Umidi A5 on the Pro on the left side, Redmi 7A on the right side. Umidi Redmi, Umidi 
Redmi. I think here the viewing angles are better on Yumi Digi Ninjas. Yeah, yeah, they are better. Check it out how bright it is. So this is the difference between the LTPS in cell technology versus a standard TFT LCD uh, IPS display. Again, here you go. You can see by itself that the Yumi Digi is brighter on the left side. Now directly, again, Yumi Digi is slightly brighter. The colors, you can check by yourself. Easily, you know that I'm a Xiaomi Redmi fan, but Yumi Digi has better display than just. Fact is a fact. Okay, I'm gonna also test the face ID of these two smartphones. Let's check it out. So we have uh, Yumi Digi's operative system skin, uh, pure Android stock, but uh, uh, versus uh, Xiaomi's MIUI's there on the right side. So let's check it out. Uh, which smartphone has a faster face ID and screen wake up time optimization. Let's begin. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Wow, one, two, three. Wow, man, that's exactly almost the same. One, two, three. Bro, that's really impressive. I, I, I don't know, maybe slightly the Redmi 7A, just slightly for a millisecond. So it's more optimized. Again, that's completely acceptable. And everybody will think about it because uh, Xiaomi's MIUI's operating system, it is more polished than the Yumi DG software itself, but they work with it. Nevertheless, I'm really uh, surprised with Yumi DG's face ID uh, speed. It's really good, but with the fingerprint sensor, not that impressive. They will have to work on the fingerprint sensor in just. Uh, it's not that fast. You see, sometimes you even have some misses. So they will have to work on the fingerprint sensor screen wake up time. I mean, this is it. Let's go next. Okay, so it's time to test the speakers of these two devices. You're gonna be surprised, Ninjas. Oh no! Okay, let's begin with the Yumi DG A5. Pro. Very loud. Redmi 7A. Yumi DG. Redmi. Yumi DG Redmi Yumi DG Redmi Okay Ninja, so Yumi DG A5 Pro wins in the loudness in the loudest indeed while well, redmi 7a gives you a pinch of the bass there i can feel not a proper bass but the the quality is there a bit better here with the redmi 7a which is very interesting if you do care about the loudness and the clarity of the voice uh, you can go with the umdg a5 pro if you do care for the loud uh, for the a little bit of the bass you can go with the redmi 7a Yeah, both the ninjas for the price tag, amazing, amazing speakers. I'm telling you, this is also a huge step up in the Yumi DG world because this is the first time I'm seeing a Yumi DG smartphone for $100 with this kind of sound chip. And also, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack output volume is pure nine, eight and a half to nine, just really great score. Okay, we can also show you here the Antutu score, Helio P23, and the Snapdragon 439. Check it out, the, the GPU score here. This is very interesting, but in real life performance, the Snapdragon 439 will beat the Helio P23 because most of the Android games are better optimized for Snapdragon processors. So you see by yourself, by benchmarking, you will always say that the Helio P23 is better. No, it's not. So don't trust to those tech reviewers who always judge smartphones by the Antutu or benchmarks. Is That's not true, Ninjas. It's clearly not true, Ninja. I'm telling you, it's clearly not true in the gaming-wise, in the gaming world. This is a completely a bollocks, if you can say it like that, comparing them by benchmarks uh, instead of doing a real-life gaming test, which my YouTube channel there is really popular regarding that. You know that I do hardcore road tests, performances. Geekbench 4, check it out. Also, Geekbench 4 is really impressive. It does have 4 gigs of RAM versus 2 gigs of RAM. The 
uh, more expensive Redmi 7A uh, variant, uh, we will have to pay more ninjas. You will have to pay more. So this way, the Humidity G A5 Pro will win. It does have, uh, it has ninjas at 4 gigs of RAM versus 2 gigs of RAM. 32 gigs of storage versus 16 gigs of storage or 32 gigs of storage if you're going to pay $110 for the Redmi 7A. Anyway, let's go with the camera comparison now. Enjoy. Okay Ninja, so this is the camera comparison between the Redmi 7A and Yumi DGA 5 Pro, the super cheap China phones uh, under $100. Probably the two best smartphones next to the Redmi 7 that money can buy. Uh, I can already see that the Redmi 7A does have a wider front selfie camera angle, but it seems that the exposure it is uh, better with the Yumi DGA 5 Pro. I think it is better Ninja, so you can see the sky and behind my head, behind my back, more clear. But again, for the full judgment, I will have to upload this video on my laptop to check it out. So right now, I'm handheld uh, walking and you check by yourself the video stability and also the mic quality, mic loudness. That's it. I think it is better, just you can see the sky and behind my head, behind my back, more clear. But again, for the full judgment, I will have to upload this video on my laptop to check it out. So right now, I'm handheld uh, walking and you check by yourself the video stability and also the mic quality, mic loudness. That's it. I think it is better, Ninja. So you can see the sky and behind my head, behind my back, more clear. But again, for the full judgment, I will have to upload this video on my laptop to check it out. So right now, I'm handheld uh, walking and you check by yourself the video stability and also the mic quality, mic loudness. That's it. Okay, Ninja, just a small 10, 15 second uh, camera comparison. Redmi 7A versus Humidity GA5 Pro, but right now using uh, ultra wide angle lens with the Humidity GA5. A5 Pro just to see what kind of feature it has which is really amazing in my opinion this is super super amazing bro I rest him and that's nice kak sti zavish Ahmed Yasmin Yasmin Imran Amina Imran mashallah yes the three zenci yes the three zenci Yasmin yeah yeah I don't know weekend to zenci I'm not weekend to zenci That's not fair I've all upon Okay so this is the camera comparison Redmi 7A versus the Yumi DG A5 Pro, two cheap China phones under $100, doing 360 for you now. I'm gonna try to walk now, handheld footage, check the video stability. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from? Chicka chicka ching 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 China! That is the gearbest.com and banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!